Whether you're an agency, in-house SEO, or a consultant, there's always gonna be pressure to get fast SEO wins so that you can secure management buy-in and get more budget. So in this video, I'm gonna show five tactics that you can use to land fast SEO results, whether you're working on a new or an established website. And as always, we're gonna be walking through a load of working examples, and I'm gonna be sharing a handful of templates that you can also use so you can take this training and immediately apply it in your business. So let's jump in. Now you can use many of the popular SEO platforms to replicate the tactics that we're about to walk through in this video, but I'm gonna be using SEMrush. If you don't have an account, but you do wanna follow along and test out the platform, you can grab a 30 day free trial link that's included in the description below this video. Stealing featured snippets for keywords that you already have ranking on the first page of Google is one of the fastest ways you can increase organic traffic. Now the team over at All Authority Hacker analyzed over 1.1 million search results and found that 20% of non-brand keywords with over a thousand monthly searches generated a featured snippet result. And they also found that the majority of the featured snippets were captured by articles that were ranking in the top three organic positions. So as a result, you're gonna have the greatest opportunity of stealing featured snippets for keywords that you already have ranking in the top 10 search results with the greatest likelihood for those keywords that you already have in the top three positions. Now to find these quick win featured snippet opportunities, what you can do is just head over to SEMrush, go to the SEO toolkit, organic research report, and then drop in your domain. And so for this example, let's just pretend that we're working on the domain Healthline. So what you'll do once you've dropped that in is navigate over to the positions tab. And again, you're gonna be much more likely or have a better chance of stealing a featured snippet for those keywords or content where you already are ranking in the top three positions. So what you'll do here is apply a top three position filter. And then the next thing you'll do is you'll open up this box here for SERP features and then you'll come down and come to domain doesn't rank and select the featured snippet box. And now we can see here that Healthline has 1.1 million keywords ranking in the top three positions that it doesn't currently have a featured snippet for. Now, this is obviously a huge amount of keywords. So what we can do is we can, we can drop on additional layers or filters. So in this case here, what we could do is potentially filter by only keywords with a minimum volume of say a thousand, as well as potentially using one of the intent filters in here to only look at maybe informational because I know they're going to monetize more off of those high ad impression topics. And then or if you want to even drill into a specific category, I know looking at their website, they have categories and things like nutrition and dieting. So I could just grab one of those URLs and maybe look at all the opportunities in the nutrition category, for example. So even if you have a massive list, you can use these additional filters to trim it down a little bit further. And if we jump over here and just have a look at one more example with Zendesk, we can see that we've done the same thing. We've just come into the SEO toolkit, organic research report, dropped in the domain. And this time we've layered on those additional filters. So now we've got here our featured snippet filter again, where we're looking only where the domain doesn't rank in the featured snippet. We're also looking at only the keywords in the top three positions with a minimum of 100 searches per month. Now you'll wanna play around with these filters depending on how large the keyword set is that you're working with. Theirs wasn't as, as big as Healthline, so I was using a lower volume threshold. And then you'll see here in the advanced filter, I've just added include URL containing blog, because I'm specifically interested in looking at all those featured snippet opportunities that Zendesk currently has a keyword ranking in the top three positions with a minimum 100 search volume per month and it's from the blog directory. And now I can see here that I've got 221 keyword opportunities here where I could potentially look to optimize and steal the featured snippet and drive more organic traffic to these URLs. Another effective strategy for landing quick SEO wins is to identify all the keywords that your website is already ranking on the bottom of page one or top of page two for that you could quickly move into the top five or three organic positions. So I'm gonna show you first how to identify these opportunities manually inside of SEMrush. And then I'm gonna share a template that you can use or access below this video in the description that will do a lot of the tedious or manual data cleanup for you. Okay, so what we can do here is I've entered in just this domain here, beardbrand.com into the SEO toolkit, organic research report. And then I've come over to the positions tab again. And now I've set that custom position range to all those keywords ranking in position four to 15. 
Now note, if you have a really large website, what you can do is set this to only show keywords in say positions four to 10 in the positions filter there. And these are gonna be your lowest hanging fruit keyword opportunities. Now you can set uh, an additional filter as well to only look at specific intent or URL subfolders. So for here with the beard brand example, what I've done is to only include keywords ranking in the top four to 15 positions inside of the product subfolder, because I know that those are gonna be the most valuable keywords for this e-commerce store. So now that I've done that, I can see I've got 151 keywords that they already have ranking on the bottom of page one or top of page two, that we could potentially optimize and move higher into the top five positions and not only get more organic traffic, but likely drive more sales for this store. Now we're gonna look at using this free template that can automate some of the tedious work for you. And again, there's a link to this template in the description below this video. So this is gonna organize all of your data and surface the best immediate opportunities for you. So the way we would do this in this case is when we've got your domain dropped into the SEO toolkit, organic research report, you're on the positions tab, you wanna set a position filter to six to 15. That's currently how I've got the template set up. And then you can add on any additional layers if you'd like to, to shorten your keyword list. But for this case, I've just got the beard brand domain position six to 15 with a minimum volume of 200. And that gives me 1300 keywords. So then what you'll do is just come over here and click export. And then you'll come down and click this export as a CSV. Now I've already done that. So what I will then do is open up that CSV file, copy all the data from it. And then what you'll do is drop it here into the SEMrush keyword opportunities tab here in the template that's linked below this video. And then what you'll do is come up to cell A2 here, and then you'll just right click, go paste special and then values only. Now that's really important. You wanna include the headings as well and just paste in that data. And then this template, if you navigate over to the done tab is gonna go through and automatically clean up and add some visual formatting to this data so that you can more quickly spot the most attractive quick win opportunities. And specifically, you wanna look for the rows that are most green or light yellow all the way across, because these are gonna be the highest ranking keywords that you currently have, along with the highest search volume and the lowest competition level. Now the final step for you here is going to be to optimize the content, right? And there's a lot of different ways you can go about it, but just some real quick ideas or things that I typically do when I'm looking at these opportunities is to go through and use, uh, run your existing copy through a tool like Surface Content Editor or the SEMrush on-page SEO checker. And these tools are gonna to provide some quick actionable recommendations that you can use to strengthen your secondary and semantic keywords on those pages. And then you're also gonna to wanna to look at other things like internal linking opportunities. Are there any backlink gaps? Uh, can you improve the formatting readability by leveraging images and using heading hierarchy and things like that? This is, that's a topic for a whole new video, but if you do wanna go dive, uh, dive deeper into that topic, I recommend checking out the Quick Wins Playbook or module in my training program, the SEO Playbook. Keyword cannibalization or topic duplication occurs when you have multiple pages on your site competing for the same keywords. Now this can sometimes hurt your rank potential as Google indexes these competing pages, isn't sure which one to rank and therefore doesn't rank either asset highly. Now you could use manual processes like a site domain.com and then in quotations put your keywords to quickly uncover any potential cannibalization issues, but I've developed a free template. Again, this is also linked below this video that is going to automatically surface potential cannibalization issues. So all you have to do is come across to SEMrush and what you're gonna do is drop in your domain into the SEO toolkit, organic research report, come to the positions tab again, and then you wanna export all of this keyword data. Next, you're gonna open up the cannibalization template and you're gonna paste in in the SEMrush keyword export tab here. I've already done this as an name just for a speed sake, but what you'll do is come up and paste in everything as values only again. So paste special values only here in Google Sheets. And then once all that data populates, you'll come up to script and then hit run. And that might take a few seconds to run through fully depending on the amount of data you have. But then once it's finished, you'll come over to the results tab. And what you'll see here is this template has gone through and grouped all of the ranking URLs by similar keywords. So you can see I've got 
multiple URLs ranking for similar keywords. So if I look here, I can see keyword rank tracker software. I got two of those keywords, but I have two articles. I've got my best rank tracking software article as well as my daily rank tracking software article ranking on page four in this case for that keyword. But specifically here, the ones that you're gonna to wanna to pay closer attention to are where you have the same keyword that's ranking for multiple different articles on the first or second page of Google, because this is often gonna present those opportunities where you may want to combine the articles and not have two, two separate ones. Now, one word, word of comment here on this too is not all grouped pages are going to be keyword cannibalization issues. So do review them carefully and, and make that determination on your own. But here's how to, here's a few different ways you can uh, fix keyword cannibalization issues. The first one is if you have duplicate pages competing for the same keyword and they do offer unique value, what you can do is merge the content into one canonical higher ranking page and then just add a 301 redirect from the merged asset to the new canonical page. And that's going to give you a more authoritative asset that you can then potentially have a chance of ranking higher for a given keyword. The second one is if the lower ranking competing page offers no unique value, but it does have quality links pointing to it. Uh, you can add a 301 redirect pointing to that canonical higher ranking page so that you can consolidate any link equity from that second page into the top one, which can make that asset more authoritative and potentially give it a ranking bump. And then the third one here is if we have uh, any competing pages that offer no unique value, and they don't have any links pointing to them, you can just remove those from your site or let them 404 or 410 out of the index. One of the quickest ways to find new high intent keyword opportunities is to analyze competitors' keywords at the subfolder level. And this can help you cut through all the noise and drill straight into only the most valuable keywords for your specific business or site monetization strategy. Now I'm gonna give you a quick overview of this process, but if you wanna dive deeper, I've linked a couple videos below that will go into much greater detail for a number of different business types and industries. Okay, so let's just suppose for this example that you run a coffee affiliate website. Now to find loads of keyword opportunities that you can monetize, you're gonna to wanna to analyze the review subfolder of a site here like Wirecutter that writes a lot of review and best of type listicles around this topic. Now I can see if I hover over some of these URLs that are optimized for these best of keywords, I can see the best gas grills here is housed underneath of this wire cutter review subfolder. So what I would do is I would come in and I would look at the New York Times root domain, and then I would add on some additional filters. So I would add only those keywords in the top 10, because these are probably gonna be the most relevant opportunities. For this case, a minimum volume of 100 searches per month. And then I can say, but I only want them housed inside of this review subfolder, because I know that's where the, all those really valuable affiliate based keyword opportunities are going to be housed. And since my site is about coffee specifically and why and why cutter does a lot of review content across hundreds of different topics, I want to layer on a keyword containing coffee filter here so we can drill in only to those affiliate based review based coffee terms and then just exclude any wire cutter brand traffic because there's a ton of that in there as well. And once I've got those filters on, I've gone from hundreds of thousands or even millions of keywords down to 914 keywords that are specifically related to coffee that I could potentially go after on my affiliate website. I can see in here keywords like self-heating coffee mugs, best cold brew coffee system, best coffee grinder for home. So lots of opportunities in there. Now, similarly, if you want to look for new opportunities for a beard products e-commerce store, you could look at the products URL folder of a large industry competitor like beard brand. So you can see up here, all of their products are conveniently housed off of this product subfolder. So over in SEMrush, we would come into the organic research report again, and this time we would drop in the subfolder, make sure subfolder is selected from the dropdown. Then the next thing that we're going to do here is go to the positions filter here and just put in the top 20 since this is going to serve as the most relevant results. Now you can see here that by analyzing the products folder, we've found all of their existing keywords that they're ranking in the top 20 positions that have some level of commercial intent for this business. So you can see here some of the opportunities, beard oil, beard softener, mustache wax, beard shampoo, beard brand styling balm, 
beard salt, sea salt spray. So there's a bunch of keywords in here. If I was analyzing that and looking for existing opportunities, this is where I would start. Now building internal links from relevant, highly linked URLs on your site is one of the fastest ways to get new content moving up in the rankings and even propel existing content higher as well. So in SEMrush, it's really easy to find some of these really high power internal link opportunities. So what you'll do is just enter in your domain, come over to the SEO toolkit, and this time you wanna come down under the link building section and go to the backlinks analytic tab. And then once you're in here, you wanna come over and select the index pages tab. And then you're gonna to wanna to check here, there are a number of referring domains per page. So the pages with the most referring domains are usually going to have the most authority. So add an internal link from those relevant high authority pages to your new or even existing content to help give it a little bit of a nudge. So in this case for beer brand, I definitely wanna make sure that some of these blogs with hundreds of backlinks are linking or internally linking to relevant product pages or even related blog posts on my site. This is just one of the fastest ways you can channel a little bit more link equity into your most important assets or assets that you're trying to move up higher in the rankings. And there you have it. If you like the video and appreciate the templates that I've shared in here, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and just let me know in the comments below which one of the tactics that you're going to use from this video, or if there's another way that you have landed quick SEO wins for your business or clients, I'd love to hear your thoughts below.